Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 11 of our Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21. In today's episode, we have two away games against Crystal Palace and then West Ham. Crystal Palace are in 11th on 19 points, having a decent enough season, and West Ham are in 15th place on 17 points, conceded 30 goals which is the second worst defence in the league, joint second with Brighton. So I'm pretty confident we can pick up maximum points in today's episode, not just because the two teams are below us, but we've been playing some really good football recently and I'm confident, so confident at the moment, playing with this Southampton team. And I think it's showing in recent results. Last episode, 1-1 against Man City and we really should have won that match. And then we beat Newcastle 3 one so we start against crystal palace let's go to selhurst park and see if we can make it two premier league wins in a row for the first time this season Ferguson on this right hand side plays it backwards to Cahill now MacArthur surrounded by white shirts and he does well to find a teammate lovely pass into Townsend and he's got one player arriving in the box he plays it short to Batshawai Townsend once again good start to the game from Crystal Palace Ferguson oh he's completely done me now Townsend once again is he going to whip it across you've got two players in there mate just whip it in and he's going to get a free kick really that is so soft Six minutes gone, Crystal Palace get a free kick. Ayu takes it, it's a dangerous delivery, and what a header from Twan Zebe to pull it behind for a corner kick. First corner, and it comes for Crystal Palace. Milivojevic whips it in, and it's a poor delivery, and Theo Walcott gets it away. Blistering start to the game from Crystal Palace, putting our goal and box under so much pressure. What a pass into Ayu, but Forster comes out and pulls off a big save. Incredible. And it's going to be another corner to the home side. Milivojevic this time, and this time it's a better delivery, but thankfully again we get it away. At the moment we are surviving and it remains all square at nil-nil, but the attack is not over, but now it is because Ryan Bertrand has done very well to get the ball off Townsend and it's going to be a throw in pressure off after 11 and a half minutes brilliant start to the game from Palace but thankfully it remains nil nil Theo Walker on the ball short into Siracho now Edouard into Oxley Chamberlain brilliant strike fantastic save 15 minutes gone and that is our first shot away at goal and it was going in on his left foot as well from the Ox Brilliant save from the keeper. Right, 16 minutes played. Can we open the scoring? It's a fantastic delivery. It falls to Twanzebe. But we just can't get the shot away. I didn't press circle quick enough. Oh, has it come off his shoulder? I think it came off his shoulder from Danny Ings. Off the crossbar. It fell to Twanzebe. Brilliant first touch. But I just didn't press shoot quick enough. And it's brilliant defending in the end from the Palace man. Oxlade Chamberlain with the cross. And again, it's going to find Danny Ings. And we are going to keep possession in. Theo Walcott. Oxlade Chamberlain to Danny Ings. And the Palace man does very, very well. 18 minutes gone. Opening 11 minutes. Brilliant by Crystal Palace. Since that point, it's been all Southampton. Loads of space here for Romeo. Brilliant save once again from the Palace goalkeeper to keep the score at nil nil. Oh my god, what a lively start to this game. But it's nil-nil, and I don't know how. Sorracho for to Theo Walcott, now Danny Ings, and it's a fantastic pass into the striker. I see Edouard arriving at the far post, brilliant delivery, finish dreadful. <laughs> Unfortunately, he couldn't repeat what he'd done in the last episode, I think it was, when Walker-Peters whipped in a delicious cross. Kind of similar in that sort of position on his left foot as well. But this time, way over the crossbar. 
Romeo on the ball, forward to Saracho. Now Danny Ings, can we find Theo Walcott? Yes, we can, and it's a fantastic pass. We're going to try and find Edouard. Brilliant play. Oh, it's a goal kick. I thought it went in. I thought it was going into the bottom corner. Oh, it's gone just wide. What a goal that would have been, though. Oxlade Chamberlain, Saracho. Now Theo Walcott, Danny Ings. Theo Walcott once again. This is very, very good play. Walker Peters into Saracho. Now Oxlade Chamberlain, Romeo forward to Danny Ings. This is fantastic football. Ings, Romeo, Saracho, Ings, Romeo out to Edouard on this left hand side. Lovely back heel into Ryan Bertrand. Can we find a teammate in space? Edouard. Saracho, now Danny Ings, brilliant block, fantastic block, but we are going to keep possession in, Oxlade Chamberlain, short into Edouard, and is it going to fall to Oxlade Chamberlain, it does, low and hard, brilliant save, and they get the ball away, what a goal that would have been, that was very good and patient play, but unfortunately we couldn't score a goal, and after 43 minutes it remains nil-nil, and I don't know how. Theo Walker on the ball, Saracho, now Romeo, left hand side is Edouard, now Danny Ings into Theo Walker, and it's a very good block, and it's going to be a corner kick, dangerous start to the second half, five minutes into it, and we get the first corner of the second, 45 minutes, and it's good defending from Crystal Palace once again, Romeo picks up the loose ball, short into Oxlade Chamberlain, now Saracho, and again a Palace man in the way, Wow, what a start to the second half from us. Theo Walcott with the throw. Romeo, quite a bit of space here for Oxlade Chamberlain. Beautiful scoop turn from the midfielder. And again, the Palace goalkeeper denies Oxlade Chamberlain a goal with a very, very good save. Come on, we can open the scoring here. We need to make this pressure pay with the first goal. And it's going to fall back to Oxlade Chamberlain. Decent first touch and what a cross, but... Palace man gets it away. Twanzebe, lovely pass into Danny Ings. And a Crystal Palace man in the way yet again. Walker Peters on this right hand side. Loads of space for Romeo. Now Saracho into Danny Ings. Bottom corner, fantastic goal. Brilliant finish from the striker. Crystal Palace nil. Southampton won. Finally, we have broken the deadlock. What a pass from Saracho, but that first touch from Danny Ings was crucial. To take it under his control and then finish it off with his left foot. Absolutely brilliant. MacArthur on the ball into Milivojevic. Or to Ayu. Is he going to find Zaha on that left hand side? He does. It's a brilliant pass and a great first touch as well. But he's up against two players. And Walker Peters nicks the ball away from him. Walker Peters, Saracho. Four to Theo Walcott. Now into the goal scorer. And I see Nathan Redmond arriving at the far post. But we just can't find him. Theo Walcott, Nathan Redmond. Now Oxlade Chamberlain for 2 0. Brilliant goal. Absolutely fantastic football. And once again. A brilliant finish. Two quick-fire goals have put us in pole position for three points away at Crystal Palace. What a finish from Oxlade-Chamberlain. 20 minutes left to play and we are 2-0 up. Surely that has to be three points. But then again... We were 2 0 up with 10 minutes left to play against Burnley, and we drew 2 2. So I don't want to get carried away. Theo Walker on this right hand side into Obafemi. Can we find Nathan Redmond? Yes, we can. Now, Theo Walker. Where the hell is the Palace defence? Theo Walker for 3 0. 87 minutes played. It's Crystal Palace 0, Southampton 3. Where was their defence? Look. Nowhere to be seen. It's a simple pass into Theo Walker and a brilliant finish. Wow. Theo Walker has scored his fifth Premier League goal of the season. Kiate on the ball for Crystal Palace. 
Should win to Andros Townsend. Now Connor Wickham. Decent play from the striker to retain possession for his side. Now Van Anholt plays it straight to Theo Walcott. Now Nathan Redmond into Obafemi, and it's a great first touch. Can we find Nathan Redmond? Yes, we can. It's brilliant play from Nathan Redmond. Bottom corner, brilliant finish. Seconds left to play of this match, and Nathan Redmond has bagged himself a goal. He was running towards the corner flag as well. What a finish. Wow. Incredible finish. What a performance and result here away at Crystal Palace. We dominated and didn't let Palace get any sort of rhythm going in this match. And it could have easily been a few more goals. But it's three points and that's all that matters. Up next, we have another game in London. We take on West Ham. So let's see if we can make it six points from six. Lanzini on this left-hand side for West Ham. A good pass into Antonio, who is the lone striker and should really be in the box. Walker Peters nicks it away from the West Ham man, but apparently it's not a free kick. Now Fornals on the ball, and it's a great tackle from Twanzebe. Surely this time it has to be a free kick, ref. That was a blatant free kick. Mark Noble on the ball. Right-hand side is Fredericks. Can we make a tackle with Oxley chamberlain We can't. Brilliant pass into Antonio. Now Mark Noble, bottom corner, 1-0 West Ham. 12 minutes played. West Ham have dominated possession. They kicked off and kept possession ever since. And they've broken the deadlock. Lovely play from Antonio and Mark Noble all on his own and it's a very good finish from the West Ham captain. But surely we should have had a free kick. I need to go back and look at it. The second one, the first one maybe he won possession. Let's look at the first one. Maybe he won possession. No he doesn't does he? Does he? I mean, his foot's gone over the ball, and surely that has to be a free kick. But the second one, I think, is a blatant foul, isn't it? Great tackle from Twanzebe. Oh, I don't know, actually. No, I think, I think that's a clean one, but the first tackle has to be a foul. But West Ham have taken the lead very early on in this game. And we're in good form at the moment, so there's still a very long way to go, and I'm confident we can still pick up a good result. Romeo on the ball, into Oxley chamberlain now Danny Ings, Nathan Redmond, Danny Ings once again, this is very good play. Danny Ings has done well to retain possession, now Oxley chamberlain Very good save from Fabianski, good response from us. 17 minutes gone, we get our first corner of the game, Redmond whips it in, it's a good delivery, Vestergaard with the header. And it's gone out for a goal kick. What a response from us. After going 1-0 down. But it remains 1-0 to the home team. Romeo on the ball. Forward to Nathan Redmond. Now Danny Ings. Into Theo Walcott. To his right hand side is Soracho. Lethal strike. But wide of the target. Wow. Since West Ham opened the scoring. It's been all Southampton. It had the power, but yeah, didn't have the direction towards goal, did it? Unfortunately, because if it did, that definitely would have caused problems for Fabianski. Oxley chamberlain on the ball. Left-hand side is Ryan Bertrand. Now Nathan Redmond, who's going to move into a bit of space. No one really. Oh my God, that was frustrating. Nathan Redmond, loads of space here for Oxley chamberlain Up to Theo Walcott. Now Walker-Peters. This is very good play. Look at the space here for Sriracho. And the shot gets blocked. But can we keep the attack alive? Lovely header from Danny Ings. Now Theo Walcott. Left-hand side is Nathan Redmond. Oxley chamberlain Theo Walcott into Sriracho. And the shot gets blocked. Wow. That was very, very good play. But unfortunately, just couldn't get a clean strike at goal. 
seconds left to play of the first half and it looks as though it's going to be 1-0 to West Ham at the break forward to Antonio unless they score with this next attack brilliant block from Vestergaard but West Ham are going to keep possession Mark Noble out to this right hand side in Fredericks is he going to whip and across it's brilliant play from the fullback now Antonio seconds left to play West Ham up in the pressure to double their lead brilliant turn onto his right foot what a block it falls back to Antonio on his left foot and thankfully again it's a brilliant block and there is the half time whistle wow my heart was in my mouth I really thought Antonio was going to double West Ham's lead just before the break but unfortunately unfortunately thankfully it was two brilliant blocks and at the break thanks to the West Ham captain it's West Ham 1 Southampton nil. Fredericks on this right hand side for the home team oh it's brilliant play from the full back now a layer oh lovely back heel into Mark Noble brilliant save from Forster to keep us in this game wow and Mark Noble is coming off the pitch that was his last involvement and it almost was 2-0 to West Ham four nows plays it short into Lanzini and it's a decent run here from the midfielder four nows once again great tackle right let's go up the other end and equalise Danny Ings forward to Idwa out to this left hand side in Gineppo Danny Ings Idwa this is very good play left hand side is Ryan Bertrand but Fredericks intercepts very good play from the West Ham fullback and Fabianski does the smart thing and puts out for a throw in Right, Ryan Bertrand with the throw into Oxley chamberlain Loads of space here for Romeo. Now Serracho into Edouard. And it's good defending from West Ham. And they played it back to the goalkeeper. And this time he finds a teammate. Right, I'm going to make my last sub. Danny Ings off. Obafemi on. Four nows on this left-hand side. Plays it forward to Allaire, who's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And Forster grabs the ball. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeping from our number one here we go Obafemi left hand side is Gineppo can we find Obafemi once again yes we can Idwa Obafemi to his right hand side is Oxley chamberlain now Gineppo brilliant pass Gineppo what a block from Diop 91 and a half minutes played we have a corner can we equalize at the death it's going straight to Vestergaard and it gets cleared away and it's going to stay away and there is the full time whistle it's defeat in London against West Ham by a goal to nil. And I think we deserved at least a point. Let's take a look at the match facts. They had five shots, five on target. We had nine, five on target. They had most of the ball, but we had more chances away at goal. So, so frustrating. We deserved at least a point, if not all three. But unfortunately, the score at the London Stadium is West Ham 1, Southampton 0. So after 18 matches, we remain in 9th place. Look at the win, draw and loss. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. <laughs> We're now on 24 points. At the top, Liverpool on 42 points. Man City also on 42 points. Wolves still going strong in 3rd place. Just 4 points off the top after 18 games, which is absolutely incredible. Spurs in 4th and Man United now in 5th place. At the bottom, Sheffield United on 10 points, West Brom on 11 and Burnley on 12. Everton now in 17th place. They must have won two matches in a row. They beat Fulham at home 2-1. And then before that, they beat West Brom away from home 1-0. Two big wins, which could be the turning point in Everton's season. In the next episode, we start against the league leaders Liverpool and then we're at home to Leeds. So that is going to wrap up today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.